Hey everybody, it's Ruben Lawley. Here in Cypress, Texas. It's a beautiful day. It's Wednesday. Um, so I'm I'm uh I've been going to this um, voice of healing ministry. They meet at the Marriott downtown Houston on Sundays, and it goes like from 11 o'clock to 3.30, 4.30, 5.30. Um, it just goes, right? And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm in a house with their um, outreach team. And one of the pastors, he, he's a doctor. He's also the head of their music ministry. And he's ex Air Force, and um, so we have some pretty heavy conversations. <clears throat> and they so in the teachings, their teachings straight up out of the uh, the early church um, teachings. Okay, back like right after. Um, the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, where the Christ came to the upper room and, uh, after his crucifixion, right? And, uh, a lot to do with, um, Paul's teachings, right? And they're, they're, they caught up on the, the language and how just one word that the, uh, or adopting different meanings of the word can totally skew the whole message or passage, okay? But the main thing <clears throat> is that Christ says that um, by emptying yourself, basically control your mind, from your own ego to that of the Holy Spirit of God all right you can do what he's done and more and the way to do that is reading the scriptures but the right scriptures right and getting the right meaning so here I'm reading my um, so I want that I want that right I want to be able to be that way, right? That's been what I've been striving for since I started realizing that God was real back in 1994. And, uh, so, there's, um, it's amazing how I got conditioned in the SEAL teams and in different aspects of the SEAL teams to identify Things that are incongruent. And that's something. You know, first thing that popped my mind was, uh, you know, Jumpmaster JMPI inspections, Jumpmaster Personnel Inspections, where you're you're looking for correctness on how somebody's got their, their parachute on them, right? And uh, the... And then, then, then that same thing when you do an observations like you know in sniper school, you're you know you're looking for things that are out of place, right? And so I pick up on things, right? And and things have got to be congruent for it to work for me, right? And uh, so this um, keeping up with this, right? Um, I, I'm listening to Greg Braden and he's talking about almost exactly the same thing that they're teaching with this Voice of Healing Church but he's leaving Christ out of it okay and there's, you know well, except for a few things okay he does um, quote the lost teachings of Thomas okay they're direct quotes of Jesus Christ Right, 
but he's, I, I know what the problem is, because he's conditioned to the interpretation after Constantine, which is primarily what most of us know in, the, in our Bibles. Okay, so I'm going to get this early teaching, uh, books on the early teachings, and, and uh, digest them. But there's, there's a lot going on. So the first thing is this. We have a tendency to go negative. And like right out of the bed in the morning, right? So that's why working out, it changes it. If Tony Robbins talks about this. It flips your pol polar polarity of your attitude. Probably the best way to say it. Okay. And uh, from there, okay, you have um, from there you end up having um, you know a better day. You come at things from a, from the positive side, right? And uh, and what's what's a challenge is? Well, I know I was going to talk about. It. I uh, I learned teaching boxing to kids that if you always get on them for what they're doing wrong, that's all they think about, and that's what they do, right? But if you focus on what they do right or what they could do, they will do it. That's exciting, right? And uh, <clears throat> and that that's exciting. Okay. And it works with everybody. So the so when you go and you're teaching something to anybody and you teach it the um, when you teach what's wrong, guess what you're planting in their mind? You're you're like you're making them look in the rear of your mirror, you make them look look backwards. Okay. And uh you don't want to do that. You want to be looking forward, okay? Projecting a better future, being a better person, being a better, having a better outcome. If okay, that's what you want to project, okay? And don't look at what's wrong, okay? Don't go there. You know, so that's um, just project forward. Look forward. Don't look back. All right. Have a great day.